Hello everybody, I'm Gary Masso with Moss & Associates right here at Pacific Sotheby's International Realty and welcome to this month's How's the Market for June 2018. Again, this is based on the Home Dex report uh, from the numbers that came or posted in the month of, uh, of May. And so before we get started, I just want to wish you all a happy 4th of July. The kids are out of school and typically this is the height of the real estate season. So we are all in full swing, um, full of vacations and fun and summer and sun and everything we love San Diego about. So I hope you're out having a great time uh, with all of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, if you remember last month, I was telling you that some things were changing and we're probably going to start seeing them reflected in the, in the numbers in the months to come because typically our cycles our sales cycles are 30 to 60 days in terms of getting from when the contracts are written to when it's actually closed so our numbers tend to lag but here on the ground floor we can typically start to sense uh, you know what's really happening if things are starting to change and this month uh, this home next report actually shows a change for May uh, and so I'm gonna go through that now with you all right so first of all, the big story for the last two years uh, and one of the main reasons why our markets have just been so crazy going up is inventory levels, okay? So right now our inventory levels uh, are a little over 2,200 units actually and that's down just under 2% from last year at this time. Now, if you recall, pretty much every other month we're, we're seeing double digit year over year uh, declines in inventory levels this from what we've seen in the past is pretty much on target or pretty flat from where it was uh, last year at this time as well now the month supply this is the big story here <clears throat> excuse me is up to 2.6 months of supply which is year over year up 8.3 percent uh, from last year may at this time this is the first time uh, in 33 months uh, since the the um, the inventory levels have actually posted a positive year-over-year -year, uh, supply increase right we've been seeing in the last couple of years year-over-year -year, a negative double digits 20% almost 30% lower inventory levels than the previous year so again this is a pretty big indicator right here that something's changing we now have an increase in inventory the last time that we had in the single-family detached homes uh, in North County, San Diego had a 2.6 months of supply of inventory. It was October in 2016, so almost two years ago. Okay, now the other thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the other thing is new listings. Year to date, we're at 6,900, or a little over 6,900. Uh, that's only down about 1%, right? And from May last month, um, we're pretty much flat. So the point is, is that, well, in getting into closed sales, actually, I'll say this first, is year to date we're at a little over 3,900 actual closed sales, which is down 12% from last year. Uh, and from last month, uh, we're down 18% in the number of closed sales. So what's happening is we have less sales and essentially the same amount of inventory that's been coming on the market from uh, last year at this time, which is why we're having a increase in supply, right? So what's causing that? Interest rates have been rising, uh, concerns over the market from the buyer's perspective. It, it's kind of caused people to take a step back and reevaluate, and we're starting to see the shift in buyer's mindsets, okay? Um, now, the other thing is the median price point. Typically, we start to see, in, uh, you know, seasonality-wise, we see from February, March, April, May, June, it just starts to step up in terms of median price point. Um, and then from ju you know July is typically where we see the peak from June sales. August, September, October, towards the end of the year starts to tail off. That's normal seasonality. Typically, we don't see in a decrease from, uh, from April to May in, in uh, median price points. Uh, from last month in April, uh, we had a, a, a median price point of 730,000, which was pretty much the peak of what we've seen in many, many years. Uh, in this month in, uh, in May's numbers from June, we're actually seeing that down $2,000, right? So it's not a huge difference in median price point change, but yet we typically see that step up at least one, two, three, five percent uh, towards this time of the year. So we're definitely, you know, again, numbers are still really good. Our market's healthy, but we are starting to see some changes that we typically don't see at this time of the year um, and what we haven't seen in almost two to three years at this point in time. So again, there's no reason to freak out or think that, you know, our, our, our markets are falling. There's just a slight correction, which we knew that was going to be coming. But <clears throat> if you're a buyer, 
the best advice I can give you is, you know, evaluate your situation for your own specific needs, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to have this big fall off and you need to wait for, you know, the market to crash because I really don't think that that's happening. Evaluate your situation and if it makes sense now, uh, you know, it's still a great time to buy a home, okay? You might want to also understand what interest rates are expected to do over the next six months, year, and see how that evaluate or, uh, you know, affects your situation as well. And for our seller clients, we always right now we're recommending that it's not the time to reach for the sky with your pricing if you need to get your home sold you know you got to find that that great spot right at market and see if you can catch uh, the highest price as we you know we're gonna start to see some more negotiations from buyers uh, and maybe some price softening for just a you know a little bit of price softening coming up uh, from now through at least the end of the year so again let's keep our eyes on this month to month I hope that this information is very valuable and helpful to you but if you have any questions please don't hesitate to give me a call message me below I'd love to talk to you about your specific situation and how all of this will affect you thanks again for watching and we'll see you next month